Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm so excited for you to be here today. Today we're gonna be working on this area where I am sitting. It's a spot in my home that I don't show very often and I just for some reason don't do a lot with. It's my front porch. So we're gonna do a little front porch refresh, a little front porch makeover, if you will. The last couple of years, I just haven't done a lot out here, like even putting out new rugs or pillows or anything like that because we had a puppy and he's two now and he's gotten pretty good about not chewing up everything so we're gonna give it a try this year and I would love to thank the sponsor of today's video Art Leon Furniture we've got some new patio furniture that's gonna be going here on the front porch I have a big front porch and I have plenty of room but I've never really bought any matching furniture for the space so I'm very excited to share that with you I will share all of that coming up in the video and I will put all of their information down in the description box below so that you can check them out so let's go ahead and get started on decorating this front porch. I have come across a couple of clearance items and a couple of really affordable finds at Walmart. I even had y'all to help me pick the rugs that I wanted to use. So thank you if you saw that short video that I have put up and thank you for voting. I think I picked out something pretty good and it goes good with all these clearance finds that I found. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn you around, show you a look at what my porch looks like right now. And then I'll kind of show you what we're working with and we'll put it all together. We'll get this patio furniture put together and out. I will show you the complete transformation of my front porch. So here is just a far away glimpse at my front porch. Like I said, it's pretty big. I got plenty of room to decorate it nicely. I do have the double front doors, but that's just a little look at our house and what our front porch looks like. And let me go up here and I'll show you what I currently have on it. Hello everybody. Hi Ollie. Say hi. Ollie loves belly rubs. So if you come near him, he is going to lay down and expect for you to rub his belly. Is that right, Ollie? And this is the culprit I was talking about, about chewing up all of my rugs and pillows. Was that you? Right side over here, I just have this little glider and it came from Sam's. We've had it several years. I love finding like little furniture items and things like that at Sam's. You usually can find a really good price. I didn't get any furniture for this side, but honestly, I like the furniture so much that I got for over there that I may end up buying the matching little love seat piece that goes to it. But anyway, for the meantime, this is gonna work. We're just going to spice up this little glider with some decor. So then I have some different flowers out here and I've got them all pushed back up against the house right now because it is, because it is incredibly hot and humid here and it is just so hot and the sun is so bright that if they sit out to where the sun gets on them at all, they just wither down and look terrible. So I don't really have them displayed very pretty right now, but we're gonna work on that. This home sign I made, it's in pretty bad shape. I need to work on it too, but it is from some actual barn lumber from my papa's barn. So that is some real barn wood from his barn when they tore the old barn down. I got that and I made this little home sign. These huge, what are these called? Caladiums. They were some bulbs that came from my grandma's and they have just been beautiful this year. They have done so well this year. This little pot was some wildflowers that my son had planted at school for Mother's Day and he just wanted to throw them in this pot. I really should have put them in the ground, but that's what that little jungle right there is. <laughs> and then over here is kind of the area that we're gonna make over with the new patio furniture. These chairs just came from Academy and I mean, they've been fine. And again, we don't really sit out here on the front porch a ton. I'm excited to show you what we ended up getting. This little table, it was originally red and I spray painted it blue. And that's gonna work out great with the theme that I'm going to use. I currently do not have a rug. Now, honestly, I need probably a pretty big rug with these double front doors, but for now, I'll show you what I've picked out and we'll see how it looks. So here is a look at the theme I'm gonna be going with. I decided to go with some blues. You remember the table out there is already painted blue. And then I came across this pillow that I absolutely love. I got it at the thrift store for a really good price. I don't remember, no more than $5, I'm sure. But it had the fringe on it and I loved it. Well then I was in Home Depot actually picking up some primer for paint. And I came across these pillows that were 50% off and they had this blue one, which I thought tied in perfectly and then I just liked this neutral one as well. I absolutely love tassels and fringe and the boho theme. The boho is going to go so good with this new furniture 
And then I went into Walmart, I was looking for a rug, came across this blue rug with the exact same kind of theme. It has the fringe and the boho look. And then I thought I would layer this little welcome mat, little hello rug right on top of it. So I feel like all of this is gonna tie in together. So let's get started putting it together and see what we think. Now we put together this patio furniture out in the air conditioned shop. So we didn't want to do it out on the front porch, but everything went together perfectly. It was so easy to put together. All the parts were there and it came with all the tools that you needed to put it together. So now I'm just getting that all set up here on the front porch and I'll give you a closer look. This is the art ribbon three piece outdoor set. It came with two chairs and the center table there, or it also can be an ottoman. I'll show you that in just a minute. But look at the detail of this. You know I love texture. I love a boho look. This was really cool how it was twisted. It's a nice thick material. These are very heavy chairs. Everything went together well. The cushions are very nice. They're comfy. And also it's a really nice material. I may go ahead and spray these with a little bit of Scotch Guard or something like that to make sure because the rain will come in on these, so I want to make sure they hold up well. And then this can actually be an ottoman or a table. It has a tempered glass tabletop, and then you can also put that cushion on there and use it as an ottoman if you want. I'll probably keep the cushion on there just because I have two rowdy boys and I would rather it just be covered. So that is how I have it set up right now, and then we'll take some time in a little while and decorate it. I came across these pillows on clearance at Home Depot. They were back, you know, in the garden section and they were so nice. They had tons of different options and they were very big, thick, nice pillows, 50% off. So that made them $14.97 each. These were originally $30 each. So I'm really happy with these. I just really, really love the textures of these pillows. Y'all know if you've watched any of my videos before, I just love a lot of texture. I love the fringe, the kind of the crocheted look of these and the neutral colors. And then that little pop of blue, I think it looks really good. Since I'm a little unsure about the rug size, I'm just going to leave that tag on for right now and just kind of let it sit there and see what I think about it. That's what I like to do sometimes, just sort of let it sit in the space that I'm wanting to use it in, see what I think. I do think it ties in really nicely with the furniture and the pillows, but I feel like it is too small for my doors. And I actually put it in front of the door that actually opens, well, both of them open, but the one that we actually go in and out of. And... I think that looks kind of funny, so I might move it to the center. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think about the rug down in the comments. Here is a look at it moved to the center, and I do think that looks better. It may not be quite as functional, but it does look better um, to be centered in my opinion. I had spray painted this little tabletop several years ago and well honestly it needs a little bit of help and I remembered that I had this old charger that I had picked up at Dollar General I think it was on clearance for like 50 cents at the end of the summer season a few years ago and I thought it might just work out and it was the perfect size so I just added that right on top and it goes right along with the boho theme here and I think it looks great.
This was the best Walmart clearance find, y'all. This was originally $30. I found it on clearance for $11.50. It's the cutest little wicker planter. It's the best material. And it has wooden legs to put it like on, make a little plant stand. Or you really could use this for a lot of things. But we're going to use it as a plant stand. Let's see what we can do. So here is just a little look at how everything turned out. I ended up taking one of those pillows off of the glider. I felt like it was just a little bit too much and I thought this was a little more subtle just to have the two pillows and I like that look a lot better. I will use that other one around on my back porch. And then here's a look at the rug again. I do like it better in the center and I did shop around a little bit for a bigger rug but they are just so expensive and i'm not really looking to spend a lot of money right now i kind of wanted to use what i had and um so I'm, I'm gonna try to make it work and then another look over at the art leon furniture set this outdoor set is so cute i really love how unique it is and how different it is and so i think it really goes with my house well You may notice I didn't put this on film, but we really cleaned up these flower beds. We, this landscaping was out of control. We had a really bad winter, and we thought we had lost some of our big bushes and stuff, but some of them started coming back up from the ground, but we trimmed those down. We trimmed up all of the hedges and we did the flower bed so it looks so much better now and you can actually see the furniture the bushes are not out of control anymore so there is a little bit of a look at the entire porch so now it is time to relax and cool off and i wanted to share with you my favorite drink of the summer i've been drinking these almost every day um, this is similar to the chick-fil-a sun joy i just make my own at home i just put about half of the cup of tea and half of the cup of lemonade now i like to use unsweet tea and then use the simply lemonade or if i can find it i like to use the simply lemonade a lot because it is sweetened with stevia and you have a lot less sugar and a lot less calories now let's go outside and enjoy our nice new decorated front porch. that is it for today's video y'all i hope that you enjoyed decorating with me be sure and leave me your feedback on that rug down in the comments below don't forget to go check out art leon furniture i will have everything linked in the description box and you can save 15 dollars off of your order on their website they have all kinds of furniture for indoor and outdoor lots of cute things so be sure and check them out and again thank you to art leon furniture for sponsoring today's video i hope that y'all have an amazing week make sure you come back next tuesday i do upload a new video video every week. So I will see y'all then. Bye.